Welcome everybody, this is an update to the construction progress of the massive I-95, I-395, and 836 project. Behind me is I-395. To catch you up real quick, if you didn't see part one, I-395 is being completely rebuilt, at least this segment from the portion that connects to Miami Beach right here, all the way up to I-95. They're gonna rebuild it, and they're gonna erect some arches, about six arches, and then they're gonna add new on-ramps and off-ramps, kind of relocate them a bit, and I-95 will have some minor adjustments as well. And then 836, also known as the Dolphin Expressway, will have a double-deck highway. So two stories, top floor will go directly to I-395, such as this, bypassing all entrances and exits. And then the lower level will be for anyone that wants to exit onto I-95 northbound or southbound. So that is pretty much the gist of it. I did go deeper into it in the first video, so go check it out after this one in the description. But for now, I'm very curious to see what progress is like to this day. It's been over a year since the first update. So have they progressed or are they moving really slow? I kind of have an idea, but won't know for sure until we get in the air. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are airborne. And as you can see, we've got two significant arches already out of the ground. This was not the case in our first update video. Actually, nowhere near the case. But we can see these support columns that are just made out of metal or steel, kind of just stacked together. And you can see the segments that we pan down. There are more down here getting ready to go. So you can actually see if you look right by the road on the right side, there's a segment there that's being ready or prepped, or maybe it is already uh, set to go up on the right side. And then there's two more on the left side right here. So we've got at least three segments that are gonna be added to the arches. There's significant progress, at least related to last year's video, there's significant progress between the two arches here. And then we've got the center piece right there where all of the arches are going to connect. Massive cranes around this site. And right in the background where the cars are driving on that highway, that is I-395. So that they're going in this direction, eastbound towards Miami Beach. And then those going to the right of the screen are going more into the county. So to I-95 or maybe connecting to 836. That highway that you see there is going to be completely reconstructed. And you can actually see some of the new pieces or actually the, the new portion, it's not pieces, it's already kind of uh, built up where that white tent is right there. So you're already seeing portion of the new I-395 there. And then along with that, they're gonna adjust some on-ramps and off-ramps. And then these arches will go right over the highway. I'll throw up a render so you guys know what I'm talking about, but it was all discussed in the first video in greater detail. So we do see another a little bit of an arch segment coming out of the center piece where they will all kind of intersect and then on the left side we see more of those support pieces kind of just broken down they have to stack them now if you just cross the street right over here you can see an outline of where the next arch will go and this is the easternmost portion of the arches and then the westernmost are all the way over here and they already have two out of the ground so if we do a quick pan around it is a massive project that you guys can see there. Tall cranes. We've got a lot of things here going on. And as far as traffic, it's not an issue for I-395, at least not yet. So as you can see, they knocked down a portion of the highway actually, which was just a shoulder, I believe, in order to make room for another arch segment, which is this right here. So we have this is the, the easternmost portion. So we have this, which still has no segments added to it. And then on the left side, right here, we have some somewhat of a, a form coming out of the ground. So there's more progress on the left side than there is on the right side, at least right now. All right, we're at ground level now at North Bayshore Drive and Northeast 13th Street. This was open in our first video. It is currently closed because they are utilizing that extra space for the I-395 portion. A lot of heavy machinery, heavy trucks, cement trucks also going around. And we can see what we saw from above. The easternmost arch is currently underway. And then we obviously can't see it from here, but there is the outline of another arch that will be starting up hopefully soon. So we are in front of one of many segments that they use to support the arches as they're going up. Look at that, it is massive. And this is just one piece. Now, if you go over here, don't mind the no trespassing sign. We're not going to trespass. We can see two segments that are used for the arches being prepped right now. There's wood going across and there's uh, two workers just there at the bottom inside of one. 
Wow. And these segments, I'm not sure which will get it first, maybe one each, will go to these arches right here. And then as they get higher and higher, they move to support. And the centerpiece as well is getting some arch pieces. You can see right there on the right side. Not seeing much on the left just yet, but we can see the rebar coming out of it. And of course, all of these pieces just scattered around, They're going to be used at some point in the project. Okay, I've circled the block and wow, look at this. This is one of the segments for the arches, just up close. They got a piece of wood just going through it. Looks like some rebar coming out of both sides. You can see the holes there that they match up with the rebar. You can't see it from here, but it's coming out and then they just kind of connect them like that. So there's three currently being prepped. I'm not sure which arch will get it, maybe one each. We see one here, one here, and then one over there at the centerpiece. If we kind of just walk through here, we can see inside of that centerpiece right there. So I don't know exactly what's gonna go in there, but there's a bunch of workers actively working inside there. And I'm noticing a couple of holes, so maybe that will be filled at some point. But right behind us, Actually, let's cross the street. I want to get directly beneath, as close as possible to these arches. All right, we're directly beneath one of the arches. Each segment, as I showed you guys, has to be prepped before they can be added. And you can see where each segment kind of connects there. And then the giant support column right beneath both of them. I've gone further west of the tallest arches to show you guys the new I-395 segment that's being rebuilt. And the old one is down there. So this will be much taller and underneath will be a linear park that will span a great distance, a couple of blocks all the way to Biscayne Boulevard. But for now, it just stops right here, just shy of the westernmost arches here in downtown Miami. All right, we're going directly beneath the new I-395, which you can see it is much taller. You can compare it to the current one just right over there. This is massive. They've, <laughs> the construction workers have a basketball hoop right there, you know, a little downtime, enjoying yourself because they will be here through at least 2027, at least for the most part. So while the workers you saw are handling the arches and the segments, now that we're underneath the new I-395 overpass, we can see that there are also workers over here handling this side of the construction project. It's all hands on deck for this. Current I-395 where you see the cars going down and new I-395 where you can see there's some incomplete portions right there. That's where it cuts off. And then on this side, it just cuts off right over there. All right, we are on North Miami Avenue, Northeast 13th Street, where we see another massive tent, similar to the one we saw on top of the overpass. And this is I-395, one of the new segments they're constructing. You can see the other tent I just mentioned right now. But if we walk over here, something interesting, for those of you familiar with this area, they are shifting the on and off ramps to different streets. And here is one of the ramps. It's currently closed, obviously, they're still working on the highway. But you can see this massive ramp that is already going pretty well. And then the old dingy <laughs> I-395 over here, or the current one at least. But it looks old, it's showing its age. It's very low to the ground versus this a little taller. I have found where they are storing the highway pieces. There are so many of them just getting ready to be attached. Look at that. Dozens and dozens. And no surprise there's work actively going on all the way on this side. We're at the westernmost part that I've run into so far related to the project. At least the I-395 section. Now we are heading directly westbound to connect to the A36 and get the double deck highway. So we're gonna get some aerials of that. And then I don't think we'll see much from the ground, but if we do, I'll get it on camera for you guys and share my thoughts because I haven't been here in over a year. I don't know how it is progressing. And I'm super curious to see how things are going. On my way to the double deck section, which is just over the Miami River. So you can see this gets really high up over the river. I am seeing one of the columns that will hold the top level. It's just this one right here and it goes right through there. So these are the two overpasses of the Dolphin Expressway. Cars are actively going over them right now. That would be the westbound and this would be the eastbound towards the beach, connecting to where we picked up in the beginning of the video by the arches. 
And if we zoom in a little bit farther down, we can see another section there that will hold the top level and then right behind it another one and another one. So they are actively setting those up so when they do extend the top level, it'll be seamless. So we are approaching the Dolphin Expressway. This is the double deck section, the entrance ramp right by the toll gantry. As you can see that structure straight over there. So cars will be able to shift over to the center, take the ramp up, and we're already seeing some segments completed, or at least partially completed. And then we see these support columns that I showed you earlier at the ground level that span all the way to I-95. Uh, I'm not sure if they have all the columns just yet, but it will eventually span all the way. So the purpose of the top level will be to connect drivers directly to the I-395 without any interruptions. It will bypass the on and off ramps from I-95 north and south. That way, if you just wanna go straight to the beach and you see a congestion, going on to or off I-95, a lot of cars flowing in and out, then you'll wanna stay on the second level. It'll just connect you directly over to I-395. That's not to say there won't be any traffic. As you guys know, adding an extra lane or two does not necessarily solve traffic, but it should provide on good days a, that seamless connection from 836 to I-395. And we are starting to see it take shape. It'll go all the way over the Miami River. It'll drop down. It'll have to go over the Metro Rail as well. And as you guys can see, this, this is a massive project. So you guys saw I-395 in downtown Miami. You guys saw the new ramps, the new bridge construction, the arches that are still underway. And now we have another element that is massive in its own right, the A36 portion with the double deck highway. So as of now, construction is slated to be completed in 2027, late 2027, so this could slip some more that's different from the 2026 that I mentioned in the first update. So it's already been delayed a year. All right, we are back where we started in downtown Miami. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I plan on making a part three sometime next year. I'm trying to do these every year. Of course, the project won't be completed until late 2027. So we could have several parts from now to then. And if it's delayed, even more parts. So consider subscribing, hit the like button so other people can find this video on this channel and leave a comment on what you think about this project. I will throw in the total cost of the project somewhere here. It is astronomical. It's almost a billion dollars. So taking that into consideration, what do you think about this massive project? Do you think the added level to the Dolphin Expressway for the double deck portion will help? with traffic? Do you think these arches mean anything? Do you think they will actually improve the skyline of Miami? Or do you think it's a waste of money entirely? I'd like to know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll be checking in down as well if you have any questions. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.